All right, on this video, this is on parametrics. We're talking about how do you convert a rectangular equation, an xy equation, to a parametric equation, equations that have x, y, and t, all right? So it's kind of the reverse of what we did before. You're going to write a set of parametric equations for the given rectangular equations using the given parametric metrization. Parametrization. That's what t equals. That's really the fancy term for whatever t equals, okay? So it's the reverse here. You're going to solve for x using the t equation. So we're going to start with the t equation. We're going to solve it for x. Then we're plugging it into the y equation. And then we'll have two equations for x and y. So let's just work through one. Starting with example one. If t equals x plus one, I'm going to start here and I'm going to solve it for x. So if t equals x plus one, I'm going to subtract one. So I find out that x equals t minus 1. There's my first parametric equation. Look, it has t in it. Now, in order to get the y equation, I take the y equation I was given and plug this in for x. So 4 times t minus 1 plus 5. And I'm going to clean it up. Distribute that 4. So I have 4t minus plus 5. And then I can combine like terms here. So I have 4t plus 1. So y equals 4t plus 1, x equals t minus 1. They're parametric equations now because they have t in them, all right? Let's try number 2. Start with the t equation and solve it for x. So let's do this over here. t equals 4 minus x. I want x by itself. So I'm going to, let's see, subtract 4 from both sides. So t minus 4 equals negative x. Well, I don't want negative x, I want positive x, so I've got to divide everything by negative 1. Um, x equals, that'll be a positive 4 and a negative t, so 4 minus t. All right, so there's my x equation. Now I'm going to take this equation for x and plug it into the y equation. And clean it up. Distribute that negative 1 minus 4, negative times negative is a positive. So I can continue cleaning up here. I'm going to put the t in front. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so it's t minus 1. So that's what y equals. All right, there are your two equations. Again, start with the t equation and solve it for x. So if I have t equals x minus 5, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So x will equal t plus 5. All right, so there's my x equation. Now let's plug this into the y. y equals t plus 5 squared minus 2. Now you have to clean this up. In order to clean this up, you need to foil this or box it, however, whatever method works for you. Realize that it's t plus 5 times t plus 5 minus 2. So I'm going to foil it. I get t squared plus 5t, outer terms plus 5t, last terms plus 25 minus 2, clean it up again, common terms here, so plus 10t, 25 minus 2 is 23. So this is what y equals, and this is what x equals. So it's parametric now because the t is in the equation. Last example, all right, starting here, if t equals x plus 4, I want x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4, so x is going to equal t minus 4. All right, there's the x equation. Now I'm going to plug this into the y equation. OK, what does that mean? Well, I have to cube that. So it's t minus 4 times t minus 4 times t minus 4. All right, don't freak out about this. You just take it in steps. We're going to multiply 2 together first using FOIL or box method. I'm going to do FOIL t squared minus 4t minus 4t plus 16. And that extra t minus 4 is still hanging on out there. Let's clean that up. That's minus 8t plus 16 times t minus 4. All right, I still need to multiply these two together before I distribute that 2. How do you do that? Well, you're going to do a bigger box. You're going to do t minus 4 down the side, I'm going to have three columns. So what do you have across the top? These three terms. Okay, you'll have t squared minus 8t 
plus 16, all right? And then you fill it in. T cubed times T is, or T squared times T is T cubed. Negative 4 T squared. Negative 8 times, at T times T is negative 8 T squared. That's going to be 16 T. Negative 8 times negative 4 is positive 32 as a T. 4 times 16, 64, but this is a negative 64. So now your diagonals should be like terms. So if I clean that up, that's t to the third. Negative 4, negative 8 is negative 12 t squared. 32 plus 16 is 48 t minus 64. All right, that's gross, but that's what it is. Now I have to come back over here and distribute. Now I distribute the two, don't wimp out, Keep stay with me, so it's going to be 2t cubed minus 24t squared, <clears throat> 48 times 2 is 96, 96t, 96 24 times 2, negative 128, alright, this is your y equation, and there was your x equation, you have your two equations in terms of t, so then you have parametric equations, alright. Hope that makes some sense, and we'll see you in class.